Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all know me. It's your boy, MacDeezy, back up in there. And today, oh yeah, today, that's right. It's battle time! <laughs> yeah, I guess this is more of like a battle royale, okay? So we have the mid-sized joints here. Now, you guys have been asking for this for a minute, so... I'm finally gonna try and deliver. So here's what we're gonna do. We have a battle, right? It's gonna be the JBL charge lineup. So we got the JBL charge three, charge four. Oops, we're gonna turn this around. There we go. The charge four, and we got the charge five, okay? Next, we're gonna also throw in the Sony XB33 as well as the LG PL7, and then the W King D8 Mini. These are all mid-size speaker, Bluetooth speakers. Now, I do have a dark horse in there, which is the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus. Um, this, I threw this in here because it actually is in the same price range, if not cheaper, than all of these speakers. But I wanted to go ahead and throw it in there, even though it's more on par with like your JBL Extreme lineup or the Sony XB43 lineup, as far as sound quality normally. So I definitely want to go ahead and run it through its paces, all of these, against each other for my five categories. So really what we're talking about here it might be time to go get them snacks, get them drinks, and let's get into it. Okay, so those five pillars that we got going on here. The first one is always cost, okay? Next is that look. Third is that sound. Then we've got intangibles. And of course, last but not least, that bad assery. So here's what we're going to do. Let's let's talk about the cost on all of these speakers right now. So that we have an even playing field, I took a I took a I took a look at Amazon for all five, well, <laughs> I guess seven of these speakers because I guess you can't really think of the charges all the same. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run out those prices. Here we go. So, give me a moment here. Let me just pull out my trusty pad here. Okay. So, we've got the JBL charge lineup. So, the three, you can still buy on Amazon at between $95 and $120. All depends on the seller that you go with. And don't worry, guys. I'll make sure to drop some links down below for all of these speakers where, I, where you're able to locate them. I'm having a little difficulty with the D8 Mini right now, but we'll get to there. Okay? So, again, the Charge 3 is $95 to $120. The Charge 4 is $124 to $149, again, all depending on the seller. And then the Charge 5 was able to locate from $179 to $199. Depends on all of these, the seller, also anything that they throw in there were like packages to where they bulk them together with other things, so there's that, all right? Right now, all over Amazon, no matter basically which seller you go to, you're finding this at a flat rate of 148 even. All right, so the Sony XB33 for 148 even. Next up, we have the LG PL7. And the PL7 is actually coming in at 100 bucks even. Um, actually, it's 199, $100.99. $100 but, um, you know, that is a hell, heck of a discount from what they used to have it as. So, um, I think that's, I want to say like a fifth of the cost off. So, I think they got rid of about, be like 30, 30, between like 25 and 30 bucks. So, that's a great price. Now, the W King D8 Mini. The last time I purchased this was about a year ago. And it was 46 bucks. I, right now on Amazon, it says currently unavailable. So I don't know if maybe they stopped selling it in general or if the they're just sold out right now. 
But I do know that the W King, their D8 lineup, the big boys, you can still buy. And those are under 100 bucks, ranging anywhere from $75 to $99. So the fact that I got this for about 47 bucks sounds about right, tracks about right still to this day, I would think. I'm going to also look up their site alone and see if I can't find some pricing there for you guys and drop the link down below as well. And then finally, again, the dark horse that I was talking about, we have the Motion Plus in the back here, uh, just hiding away, tucked away, you don't doubt. It's $105.99. So again, right in the price range of all of these different speakers. And yes, that is the, the man right there up there. He's Uranus. Yes, and he's saying, hello. <laughs> All right, guys. So the cost, for the cost right now, the winner would be that W King. But again, I, I really need to make sure we focus on the price and finding that price range. So other than that, if we take that one and put it to the side, the winner would be the JBL Charge 3 at $95. Coming in next would be your LG PL7 for 100 bucks. Then it would go to the Charge 4. Then we've got the Sony XB33. Then we've got the uh, Charge 5 at the priciest of them all, which kind of tracks as it's brand new. It just came out. So there you go on cost. Next up is going to be that look. All of these speakers have a very unique look to to themselves. And that is one of those things that is, um, even though we have three JBLs, you can see this one is a little bit slent, slender comparing it to both the three, I'm sorry, comparing it both to the four and the five. And of course the color, the colors are different, but you do have a very similar JBL symbol here. You have the one, uh, you have nothing as far as LEDs on this one. You have the little LED here as well as here and then their button placement. Now on these, you'll notice you'll have a different look uh, 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 for their base radiators as far as the way that they, they uh, translate. Boom. Uh, 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 same thing. So we got this here and but on this side, it's just the exclamation point. So, I mean, again, that is subjective to, the, to, to you. For me personally, the one that looks the best when I bring it out and people like are either asking about it or, hey, that's interesting, what is that? I Honestly, is the LG PL7 right now. People, I think this is considered their color black, um, but it's more of a gray hue. Uh, the LEDs that are slight um, going around here that people like that, you know, so it's not it's not the full on Sony where the lights are just flashing and maybe gave you some sort of headache or something. It's actually just the look of uh, let me bring it in a little bit more the look of the the slight look of it as opposed to this one the aesthetics. But I personally also like the Sony because of the um, material here. It goes all the way around. I just dig that myself, makes it a little bit easier to clean. This one, if I get any dirt in it, I really got to spend time trying to clean it out. The same thing with the W King, same thing. Now, if you're into that rugged look and the W King, if you can see this in the back here, has that real rugged look to it. It just basically looks like a cinder block <laughs> that you can throw and hit somebody. And it comes with that built-in strap. <laughs> you know, and then... Um, the, the, the um, sound core in the back there is really sweet as well. It's that nice material uh, as far as like um, soft material. But as you guys can see over time, it does leave fingerprints and the greases from your fingers trans transfers to it very easily. But it does have a very smooth look to it as well. Um, when it comes to the look, I would say that in this category i'm going to give the the top spot to the lg just because it still uh, gets asked questions about number two honestly would be the charge um five as far as asking questions um then the sony and then from there i'll go ahead and drop down below where i'm having the categories listed who is you know from one down all the way down to seven all right uh next up is going to be that sound so i'm going to pause the video 
because what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these out of the way now. I'm going to put one here in the center and play the sound. I've got the trusty decibel meter here in the back, about two feet, I'm sorry, about two meters or six feet away from, um, away from this spot. So uh, we'll see if we can't get an accurate uh, <laughs> decibel meter count as well. All right, y'all? I'm going to be back here in a moment. Get that popcorn if you haven't already. Here's a point. You can pause it. Get that popcorn. Get that. Get them drinks. What up, though? All right, I'll see y'all back in a minute. All right, y'all. We back up in there. And as you can see, I've cleared off all the other speakers. We're going to go one by one with the sound and see what we got. So just for full disclosure, I also just measured it off to make sure. My decibel meter is actually five feet, eight inches back. Giggity. Um, and so, uh, just gotta make sure I let that be known, um, from this speaker here. So I went ahead also, and let's go to here. Cool. All right. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just pulling up the files. I got to go with my old school Mac beat because Ain't none of y'all got me. Y'all done go down below and let me know to reach out to you because you got some copyright free beats you want me to use on the channel. So I'm still going to use mine. No doubt. Ugly beats in effect. Full effect, y'all. All right. Uh, just make sure we got this. That's what me to set up. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. So this is the JBL Charge 3. Okay, y'all, what's happening is that this Charge 3 is not charged up, if you guys can see that. Uh, it just keeps dying on me here. <clears throat> so, we'll have to charge this up and try that again. Boom. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Boom. So we back. Um, it was 84.5 on the decimal meter um, for the JBL Charge 3. Let's go ahead and see what we got for the Charge 4. And we're going to start off again with these beats. Okay. Ugly beats. Hashtag ugly beats. Okay, so we're going to shoot this segment. Okay, so we're trying this again. This is take two on the JBL Charge 4. Okay, we still got our decibel meter set up. All right, so we got the Mac Ugly Beats. Here we go. Let's get into it. Mm-hmm. 
charge four we're gonna move on to the next one here all right y'all we back up in there with the JBL charge five our trusty decimal beat is about to be cleared and we're gonna run that back max ugly beats that's right hashtag max ugly beats charge five on the decimal meter was actually 82 all right so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this bad boy throw up the next one all right y'all we back up in there we got the sony xb 33 up to bat you'll notice you don't see the leds flashing it is fully charged so let's go ahead and jump into this sound test Hashtag Max Ugly Beats. Sony XB33 um, came up on the decimal meter as 80.8. All right, so let's move on to the next bad boy. All right, y'all, we back up in there. We've got the LG PL7 with the Meridian. We got the power on. We have no LEDs on. So we got the decimal meter set up. Let's go ahead and run that back. Hashtag Max of Beats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
meter the LG PL7 comes in at 75.6 all right move on to the next all right y'all we back up in there and we've got the W King D8 mini up to bat let's make sure we got the volume up all the way on this one this one doesn't have any apps or anything like that so gotta make sure we set there we go all right so Got to set up now our decibel meter for Max Ugly Beats. All right. W King D8 Mini came in at 76.9. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move on to, I think, our final one here. Let's take a look. Okay, y'all, we back in there. We've got the Soundcore Motion Plus set up. This is my dark horse right here. You guys know it, uh, it does have a little bit more than the average bear. So let's go ahead and see what we got as far as the decibel meter is concerned. And we'll get this sound going on. All right, give me a moment here for hashtag Mac Beats. Let's get set up here. Motion Plus came in at 79.7 on that trusty decibel meter. Now, um, that was all seven speakers. I'm going to, and by the way, the pause for a second was actually me taking the picture of the decibel meter uh, screen so I can 
um, just put a little, drop little snapshots in the editing for you guys to see that the decimeters were taking the pictures of the um, decibels that I told you about. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and move on to number four, which is intangibles. And we're going to be back up in there. We're going to set this back up here with all of the speakers. I'll be right back up in there. All right, y'all? Okay, so we got our sound test out of the way, and I get it. The order of the loudest based on decibel meters will definitely, definitely be below. But speaking of bass, the decibel meter doesn't necessarily tell that story. You know, when it comes to bass, it's not always the loudest sounding. It's not that piercing sound that comes through. So if you're a bass head, that might, you know, that might like just that base. This test is one of those things that's like, okay, so, you know, maybe you might want to look at another another way of looking at it. Maybe, hey, who knows? That might be a video we do another time. So let me know down below if that's something that you're interested in. If you're a bass head and only want to know, hey, which of these speakers actually gives you the best bass, go ahead down below and let me know. Okay, now while you're down there, of course, I want to know which of these speakers do you have or which one are you going to buy? Let me know. For, from the distance and, and when it comes to that um, that new distance that I have where it's like six feet, you know, almost six feet rather than like the, what I used to have, which was basically like two feet, the top spot does go to the JBL Charge 5 with uh, very close other speakers here that aren't just based on meeting those decibel meter sound sound checks. So let's move on to those intangibles. Those are the things that make these mid-sized speakers stand out from the rest. And you know, when it comes to where we want to start, let's start with the JBLs. Okay, so we got the JBL three, the four, the five. Let's start there. And there's, there's a certain thing that I think is one of the intangibles for JBL that actually turns out to be also its hindrance. What is that? Their, their connection features. Now, that's right. I said connection features because JBL, <laughs> they did a great job in the connect but an awful job in keeping their methods seamless throughout the charge lineup. With the with the uh, the the connect over here, you have the connect plus on uh, over here, and then you have the party connect over here. I mean, like you can't connect any of the charges together. And now watch, I just watch. <laughs> So, you know, pretty soon what you're going to find is that there might be this new product on the market that, I don't know, maybe JBL devices now will soon have the availability to connect with. And what will that be? That will be some sort of like musical hub that all of these will be able to connect to through that hub. And you have to pay another whatever, whatever, and then probably like some sort of monthly charge. And JBL, if you steal that idea, you better at least give me something. I'm just saying, I'm saying. <laughs> so, you know, if they don't have a hub, which is what they don't have, you have the JBL um, party right now with the five, connecting with like the plus four, the, um, Extreme 3 and the Boombox 2. No, the Boombox 2 is still with the part, with the, instead of the Party Connect, the Connect Plus, I believe. But hey, you know what? That is one of those things I always tell people that don't just trust whatever you hear on these, you know, YouTube. Do your research. Find out, make sure if you have other speakers, what connects with it. All right. So, um, JBL, let's, let's continue on there. So with the JBL, um, the three has the micro USB input. The four and five both have type C inputs, but the five is the one that has that type C connection outside of the rubber gasket that gives it that IP rating. Why I like that, I know you're asking. So let me let you know. So the reason why I really like what they when they are now putting the Type C connection outside 
of the gasket and it's still keeping that IPX rating or IP rating is because it allows me to use the magnetic charging plugs that I have to charge devices. Now, I know you're asking, what, well, why? What does that matter? Let me tell you. Okay, so really what I do is at night, I charge devices that I use near my bedroom. So if it's near my bed, if it's something I'm going to be using constantly, it's got to at least have that port where it can connect. Because if it doesn't, it's going to the man cave, it's going to the lab, it's going downstairs, it's going somewhere else so I don't trip on the cable while it's charging. Okay, so big, big thing for me. That's why it was a game changer for me. So last but mm, let's talk about JBL's app. <laughs> so it sucks. I'm sorry, JBL. It just does. The JBL party uh, app for the party for the party boxes sucks. The app that you guys have for this, they suck. And why is that? Because they don't have. It's it's a missed opportunity. They don't necessarily have that availability to do the EQ, to change up, to sync up. All you can do is connect multiple devices there. And that's basically it. I mean, not even the volume control. It's, it's ridiculous. Anywho, um, that is a real missed opportunity in my humble opinion. And so, you know, that's where JBL falls short. So let's talk a little bit more about the Sony. So let's move these out the way a little bit here. Let's move the Sony to the middle here. So we know what we're talking about. What we dealing with. What we dealing with, y'all. All right. So we got the Sony. Okay. Boom. Now, Sony, they bring a lot of intangibles to this space. First, that NFC. Okay. So if you guys can see that here, you have that NFC, NFC symbol. Boom. Love that. That tap. A connect feature is great. They're great at their connect features all around, too. Um, that could be until you have this three. So the 23, the 33, the 43, they can connect to one another. But your 20s, 20, 21s, 22s, your 30s, 31s, 32s, your 40s and 41s, no. And the reason why that's such a big deal, I also have the Sony um, party boxes that they have. So, you know, um, the XB5 and then the XB60 and 90, those all have different availabilities to connect to those older models, not the newer models. So I'm hoping that the new Sony, so that would be the XG500, the 700, and then their other party boxes, the, the 500 and 700 as well. I'm sorry. Yeah, the 500 and 700 as well. If those are all part of this new connect, I'm good with that. At least that's the new area that we can still build off of. But hey, you're moving into JBL uh, territory and that's a place you don't want to be, Sony. You don't want to be there. Okay? At least when it comes to the app. Everything else, you do want to try to copy, but not that app. Okay? Let that go. <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> So, uh, the party features, awesome, um, which is something they, they have new with that festival app or whatever. That's pretty cool, too. I get that. That's great. Now, um, oh, yeah. Almost forgot about some of those shortcomings. Let's talk about it. A smaller battery, okay, which meant that, you know, the voice prompting is cool, letting me know where it is, where you can just press the button and let me know. But, you know, I get that you are, are using that efficiency chip that you have here, but if you still would have put a nice size battery and that efficiency efficiency, efficiency chip, you would have blown JBL and LG out of the box. But, you know, right now it's a little bit right there. It's right on that cusp. It. And you know how they, how you know they're trying to hide it? They don't actually tell you the milliamp hours. What do they tell you? 24 hour play time. That's it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anywho. What else do they got? They got the IP67. That is great with that gasket that they got down back there. But if you notice, the charging port for them is in the back here. So you can't use the magnetic. That's that's just one of my, my, my things. That's just for me, though. That's just a me thing. Um, LEDs, really cool. 
Passive radiators, really cool. I get that, all of that, no doubt. Their app, though, is without a doubt the best app out there, okay? And um, finally, I would say the one thing that I really do uh, dig is that the EQ that they give you on the app allows you to not just use the presets, but also customize your own EQ. So if you like that extra bass button, but you know you want something still with the highs, boom, you can customize it. Really dig that. Um, hmm, who's next? We're gonna move this bad boy over to this side, boom, and bring that J. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that dropping stuff already. You know how we do. All right, so the JBL will go back, parao, and let's bring the LG to the forefront. Now you notice that I'm standing it only on that mid spot. You know why? Because unlike the Sony or the JBL that can stand up, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks, LG. Yeah, that's LG. Speaking of LG, <laughs> the PL7. So this is really just giving you that midpoint between that JBL and Sony. And why is that? Like most LG products, they are trying to just throw a few things as they can at the wall to see what'll stick. I mean, really, the weight on this bad boy, 3.2 pounds. That's almost a, an extra pound over the Sony and like almost two pounds over the JBL. It's crazy. IP, IPX7, even IPX7. IP67, IP67 on the JBL Charge 5, IPX5. Really? Rather than 7? Really? It makes it water resistant, not waterproof or dust proof like the others. I mean, the LEDs, oh, okay, they're, they're not, they're, they're just not the LEDs that you get over here, you know, on the Sony. So it's like, they just... Come on, LG. Come on, LG. Really? You know, the battery is bigger. It, the battery is bigger than the Sony. Not as big as the L, as the JBL, but it's it's bigger. And what happens? They aren't if they don't use any of those efficiency efficiency chips out there. And so it's, it just it, you know what it is. It, LG is just comfortable being mediocre. Simple as that. You know, and that's basically where they live. They just live right in the middle and see what happens. You know, if you really aren't sure, ask LG speaker to go talk to the LG cell phones. Oh, no, that's right. Because LG cell phones are done. They're gone. I'm just saying. Anywho, what else we got? Next up, we got that W King. Okay. So, what is the intangibles that we have in the W King? So, really, right off the bat, there's no app. Okay. Okay. But they do have an EQ mode on the newer models, not this one in particular. If you notice, you just have those buttons here. But the newer models, the bigger ones, like the D8, the D9, so on and so forth, they have like a little EQ button right here that you can press too that has preset modes, okay? But on this one, the D8 Mini, you, it does come with the NFC pairing, pairing right there, okay? Besides that, really, okay, you got TWS, so you can pair two of these together. But like um, other other app, other, I'm sorry, like other uh, devices that are out there, the W King only pairs with the exact same speaker. So the W King D8 Mini has to pair with another, another D8 Mini. It can't go D8 to D8 Mini. It can't go D9 to D8, so on and so forth, which is... That's a shame. You really could have taken advantage of that because that's something that no one else offers. And you really could have just knocked that out of the park. Along with your pricing, it would have been out of control. And that's really one of those intangibles that W King brings is that under $100 with every speaker, almost every speaker. And now they're starting to build up their own little brand here, I guess. Because now you got the other W Kings that are coming out that are above... There was one that was $115, I think it was the D10. That was $115, but then it had like a discount, so it made like $99. So it's like, mm, don't buy the hype. 
Stay under $100. That's where you live. That's where you stay, W. King. Okay. Anywho, next up, we got, finally, the Soundcore Motion Plus. So, let me bring that bad boy to the front, the forefront here. Oh, if I can reach it. Because this is one of those speakers that I really want to talk about, guys. Okay. So, we got the JBLs. We all know how JBL do. We got the Sony. We know how Sony do. We got the LG. Even though it's mediocre, we still know how the LG do. And by the way, the bass between is not as good as the JBL, but the bass is better than the Sony. So, yeah, we know how LG do. But what's going on with this sound core, right? What do we got? It's got the jack. It's, it's, it's really just the jack of all trades, okay? High res, IPX7, 30 watt. It's a showstopper. Right? In 2018, when this came out at 99 bucks, and then it had a, uh, another discount that made them 79 bucks. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to get two of these. No doubt. So you could pair them together. Word is life. Oh, no. 79 bucks. Put me on it. Got it. Unbelievable. Then Anchor Soundcore began buying their own hype. What did they do? We got the Motion Boom, okay? The Motion Boom, okay, okay, okay. You know me, hell, I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna buy it myself, no doubt. You know how we do. And still, what happened? Okay, so what they did is they gave you the Motion Boom, which is just not as good as the Plus, but it was still 99 bucks. And what do they do to the plus? They raise the price on the plus, even though it's three years old. Still, the two drivers, the two tweeters, and the passive radiator that they have here with this unique middle spot, and then that slight 15 degree angle up, so that the speaker gives you that great sound signature, gotta have it. It's one of those speakers you just got to have in your in your collection. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's a different sound signature. I like that. But if you don't like that, what can you do? You can go to that great app that they have with the presets and customizable EQ. My only beef with their actual app is that it doesn't actually have all of their devices. I'm looking at those in-ear earbuds. Yes. Yes, I am, Soundcore. Come on. You can do better than that. <laughs> All right. So what I'll do is this. I'll put like just a final list down below with a description of the speakers themselves, the little intangibles. But more importantly, I'll put that order of which I have from top to bottom. But I guess if I have to give you those intangibles, the number one spot's going to go to Sony with a close second for Soundcore, which does have a lot of different things to go going on here. That extra bass. That, that separate, still has that 3.5 millimeter uh, jack for your uh, non-Bluetooth devices. All those little things, the IPX7, it really is just a nice little speaker, especially for that price. Anywho, now for that number five category, badassery. Now let me start off by saying, if you are in the market for a mid-size Bluetooth speaker, all of these speakers and a few more out there will satisfy that need. I use each of these speakers, okay, in different situations, but the one that I think translates across all scenarios is going to be on my Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hate when people do that. I spent all this time with you on the video. You can at least give me the payoff, right? I mean, come on. Not making me clickbait for another platform. But okay, let me at least give you the shameless plug here. Go ahead and add MacDio to your social media. You know, whether it be your Instagram, your, your Twitter, your Facebook, whatever. You know, just not TikTok. I'm not there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit too old for that. But don't worry. I mean, it's just me. And I'll put links to the descriptions down below. Now, 
badassery. My number one spot, my number one spot is actually going to go to the newest speaker, the JBL Charge 5. Why? That bass is rich, okay? With now, from the 4, they've added that slight little sound separation due to that added tweeter, making this, of course, in my opinion, that obvious choice. But that number two spot could have really gone to a multitude of speakers. With all of that bringing, like, you know, all the fact that they all bring different things to the table, um... I'm going to go with the Sony and Soundcore next, and then the LG with the Charge 4 after that, and finally that W King with the then following up with the Charge 5 finishing the battle. Okay, now I could put a few more in this class, and who knows, maybe that's a good idea for another battle. Okay, so go down below and let me know if that's something you want to see, another battle with some other mid-size speakers other than these, and let me know what you think. I also... Got to give some um, some love to some of those 360 mid-size speakers. So who knows? Maybe we might do a battle with that. Let me know if you're interested in that as well. And yo, while you're going to go ahead and give me those hits down below in the comments, go ahead and smash that like button, rock, and give me them thumbs, yo. Give me them thumbs. And hey, always be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.